leave tomorrow morning for the University of Illinois, so uh, uh, hopefully we can get it on the road. Uh, today's game, uh, uh, certainly on the upside, uh, Daniel Love had a career high and, and has kind of blended into being a three after a couple of games, so she's, she's done a, uh, a yeoman job of uh, becoming a, a wing player that she hadn't played in in her career, perhaps, certainly in her career here as an architect. So it looks like it's uh, suiting her. Um, the obvious and obvious issue, not maybe the only one, is uh, we committed 28 turnovers. Uh, hard to, it seems like I sit here every day and say it's hard to win if you do this last week. It was hard to win if you shoot 18% wherever you shot. Now. Harvey Moon, you turned the ball over 28 times. So, uh, it's, we're a team, I think, playing well enough and hard enough to win. We're a team that seems to get caught in some error world, and that's hard on them. That leads to not winning. Today was turnovers. And 19 of those are the second half. You guys started the half well. I mean, was there just something to learning how to win? And learn, I mean, was there yeah. there those, you know, Jillian gets mobbed, AC yeah. gets her pocket pick. Right, so I hear you, Rob. Yeah, I mean, and, and I think we, I don't know what the exact count is, but we struggled down in the last four minutes yeah. uh, making baskets. But some of those struggles in the last four minutes, not only we didn't make baskets, but we turned the ball over yeah. scenario. So which one's going to do you win. I, mean, I would much prefer that we came down and missed our last 12 shots. You know, I wouldn't like that. I'd say, hey, you missed shots and then you just didn't make them. But we had uh, two or three or four key turnovers in those last four and a half minutes and by different people. So, uh, I mean, it's correctable. It's correctable. But, uh, it's just not it, it didn't save us today. Is that a product of you? Just lack of nah. that what was it a lack of composure? I mean, is that fair to say? Is that not fair to say? Well, it was so spread out, it's really hard to say, you know, our, our young freshman had an issue. You know, you know, if you look at the turnover, it's like six, five, four, five, four, three, four, four. I mean, so it's like you know, almost an epidemic kind of sort of thing. Which is unusual too. Usually you have turnovers and it, you, you got hurt in certain areas, like your point guard. And, and we had some problems. Uh, they did strip our point guard, you know, two or three uh, key times. Uh, so that was an item, but it wasn't the only item. Uh, I think late in the game sometimes it's inexperience. Uh, you feel a little uncomfortable and you turn it. I'm, I'm a, you know, just for me personally, I'm a big proponent. We do this in practice all the time. Uh, if you're gonna, if it have, you have to decide between turning the ball over and taking an inappropriate shot, take the inappropriate shot. So uh, I'll, I'll get our team through that. Uh, so it's not like I'm not encouraging them. Well, one more pass, and it would have been a better shot. No, I'm a proponent. If you have a decent shot, take it. Don't pass it and turn the ball over. So. If I was a proponent of that, I would say, well, I'm getting what I deserve. If I'm saying, hey, make more passes, I'm not encouraging that. So, they'll get through. I mean, we, we won't be a turnover team like this game after game. There's a lot of physical play. It's yeah. Now, I mean, there was a lot. That was just the, the tone that allowed to be set. How did you feel like your players handled that? I thought they were okay. Yeah, I thought they were okay. I mean, uh, uh, we got some good physical play from Ariel Thomas. Who, you know, returned for the first time. Uh, I thought she played very well, given that you know she was cleared to play a week ago, had five days of, of practice, and here she comes to play, you know, the game. So, and Ariel Thomas will get nothing but better now. Uh, but when you talk about physical play, she'll step up with anybody. She'll be fine. Can you? Uh Talk about that play uh, towards the end of the three-point game, and she got uh, hit on the layup, and they didn't yeah. call the foul. Yeah. 
Yeah. And after that, I believe it was four straight turnovers to end it. How big of a impact yeah. did that no, no call have? Yeah. yeah. There were a couple of series of things, and incidentally, if there were turnovers right after that, even though whatever happened to her didn't happen. Uh, I think she came out of the game right then, too. Uh, and part of it was I was trying to I do my best to monitor her minutes. I didn't. The one thing for her personally I did not want to happen was to play too many minutes and get to a breakdown. You know, I don't mean a physical breakdown, but just like too many minutes coming back. So I was controlling, controlling, controlling. But yeah, you're right. I mean, I I don't know what happened on you know the, what happened to her mouth. She thought something happened to her teeth or something. Turned it a few times. She wasn't in the game. But I, I'd have to look at the video and go step by step with the NCAA. But I think that was right in that three and a half minute mark where seemingly bad things were happening. Yeah. How does a game like this affect a team's mental toughness? Yeah, well, we, we talked a little bit about it. Every time you don't get a win that, you know, you played pretty hard and, you know, had you not made some key mistakes, you, you might have gotten it. Uh, our players I, I will be strong enough and resilient enough to, to get through this. Uh, uh, the real way to get through it is start winning some games. I mean, uh, there's nothing like winning to kind of uh, uh, boost you up. But I, I think you're going to be fine. Not an easy deal now to get on the road and go to Illinois, but you've got to win somewhere. So. But, but they're fine, in my evaluation. Yeah. Are you going to uh, continue to limit Thomas's minutes going forward? Uh, I, I, if I do, it'll only be for another game or two. Uh, if I do, it won't be long. She'll just return loose and say, hey, you know, play you know, as many as we need and you can do, and she'll be fine. She'll be fine. What did you know you'd be without Delgado? Uh, we, we got the news uh, very late. Uh, well, the official news came like late Thursday night, early Friday morning. She had a late night uh, CAT scan, MRI. Well after practice on Thursday, so we did not know the results nor knew what we were going to do about it until Friday when we got the evaluation. So, so we literally had one day to kind of. Uh, Your knee. Her knee. Yeah. Yeah. So she's. Uh, you said the time frame on that. Um, Chip Kelly. <laughs> I mean, uh, day to day, but week to week, it's it's not something we think is going to be very long, but. I could not put a time frame. You know. I, she will not play against Illinois I mean, and going forward. You know, I think you know, they'll be treating her, and you know, in a week from now they might have a, a more updated time frame. But right now, it's just saying that she needs to stay out. Then. So it's, an, it's another game where you've got a, kind of a new look. Exactly. Line of view. Well, this game I, I started the two freshmen for the yeah. first time. Yeah. Yeah. So do you, I mean? There, is there still a sense that things were a little disjointed because of that? I know you don't want to fall back on the students or anything like that, but... Yeah, I, I don't think so, Rob. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I think any time a person, especially a freshman, starts for the first time, it's an emotional thing for them. Yeah. I, I don't think it disjointed our team, or, you know, but you know, they have to get through it, so... It was the first time for every one of them. So now we don't have any more freshmen left who haven't started. So. so, no, I'm not falling back on that, and, and I can't use it now anyway, anymore. <laughs> and the addition of Katie, what do you hope she can provide? Katie Grice, is it? Yes, uh, she became active about three hours ago. Okay. Uh, so, so she has practice with you guys? She, she worked out the, the shoot around, yes. More to follow, she's an interesting young lady. She's from the track team. Right. So I don't know if you know that. So she, uh, we're, we're out 
search if you can. <laughs> Volleyball, track, you know, wherever we can find them. I think she's she's going to be a nice addition, and uh, but uh, way early to get a feel like uh, where she'll be slotted and how she'll perform. But uh, I, I like her uh, uh, grittiness right away. You want me? You need me? Here I am. She, who, who initiated the contact there? Uh, it was pure accident. I mean, as I say, it's an interesting story. I walked up to practice and there was this young woman down shooting with one of my managers. So I said, like, who's that? And I said, well, I don't know, coach. She just kind of showed up. Well, you, you just don't show up in, in this. You know, like, you can show up in Matt Court, right? All right? But you don't show up here. At the band. Unless you've been fingerprinted and hit. Yeah. So... Uh, as it turns out, she's a friend of Jill, or kind of dorm mates. Okay. So I think she just came over and she was shooting for 15 minutes. So she was just walking out and said, hey, uh, what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> 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 it kind of as casual as that, right? No. It wasn't recommended. No one told me that. It's just yeah. like, hey, what are you doing? You feel like uh, trying to play a little basketball? So I played in high school. Yeah, I'd love to. It's one of my favorite sports. So, yeah. <laughs> Take it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.